I personally live in the United States, but I had a, a comment on one of the other videos asking if you can do this in other countries. Maybe you live in Mexico, maybe you live in the Netherlands. It, the, the answer to that is it doesn't really matter. Now, you do wanna be conscious of where your server is located. So for example, if I have all of my companies um, here in the United States, but my server is located in Europe or somewhere, you know, a decent distance away from me, that could cause issues. It's, it's not that the site is gonna be unaccessible or anything like that, but because the server is so far away, it's gonna take longer for people to hit your website. Now, we're still talking milliseconds here, you know? I mean, it, it may take 900 milliseconds to get to Europe versus just 150 milliseconds because it's located here in the United States. But whenever you browse to a website, there are things called hops. And so they're, they're these big, kind of these, these hubs for the internet. And so I think the closest hub to me is in Boise. I live in, in Idaho. So any internet traffic that I browse to typically will go through Boise and then maybe it'll go through Seattle. And then from there, it'll go out to the rest of the internet and finally bring back the website that I want. Again, if your server's in Europe, but you live in the United States, then yeah, you know, there's gonna be some, some lag there. So while it's not a huge amount, you just wanna try and make sure that you find a server that is decently close to where you're at. I live in the United States, like I said earlier, and my server is hosted in Michigan. Pretty much any client that I host in the United States, it doesn't matter where the server's located, that's a close enough distance. But if you do live in a different country, then you'll wanna snag a server just pretty much as close as you can to wherever your clients are at.